everyone welcome back to one v tech today we're going to be diving into google search for mobile an app that are probably used day to day but you don't realize its full potential stick around because i'm going to be revealing to you some of the features and tricks that will help you get most out of this powerful app let's start with a quick overview google search app is not just for searching the web it combines multiple features like voice search, discover, Google Lens, and more, all in one place. Whether you're using Android or iOS, this app can simplify your life in ways you may not even expect. One of the standout features is the Discover feed. It's a personalized news feed that gives you updates based on your interests. You can customize it to show sports, entertainment, tech, or any topics that you're interested in. Now to get the access to the newsfeed, you tap on the Google icon. Like after opening Google, straight away it will take me to the newsfeed. I'll be able to see either it's tech because I'm into so much in tech. That's why I'm getting so much updates from tech. It's like having a news hub tailored just for you hand free convenience you can simply tap the microphone icon and say whatever you need whether it's asking the weather checking the facts setting a reminder it saves you from typing it even works for complex questions like what's the best route to avoid traffic to downtown i will go to microphone icon What's the weather today? Today's forecast for Biloba is 28 degrees with a thunderstorm. Can you set for me a reminder of a workout at around 5 p.m.? This is a feature that many people are not taking advantage of. With this tool, you can search using your camera. Just point your phone at anything like a plant, landmark, or a product, and Google will instantly identify it. Uh, search using the Google Lens. So we'll tap this icon, the camera icon, and now I'll search. Right? Then I search. Wow, it has brought the MacBooks. Wow, that's amazing. This is super handy when you want to quickly learn about something but you don't know what it's called. This is a pro tip. You can even scan text with Google Lens to copy and paste it translate it or even search for more information uh, maybe let me just go right here i need to select the text that i really need that is the text i need so i'll search i'll select the text and after selecting the text it automatically browses the internet you want to keep your searches private you can activate it by tapping uh, the profile icon and now we'll go to new chrome ignito tab this will enable us to search for anything this way your search history won't be saved and it helps in maintaining your privacy especially when you're sharing the same device save time with quick actions now here's a trick to make your life easier long press the google search up icon and you will get quick access to features like voice search and image search these shortcuts save you from navigating through a menace and it's great for multitasking stay informed on the go this is another cool feature you want to track your flights packages sports call you can just type your query into the search bar and Google will provide you with live updates right inside the app. Uh, let me let me search for flight track. The uh, Google gives me multiple options so that I can select. Let me search for uh, spot scores. So it has given me Kenya, Cameroon, Belgium, Germany, Netherlands. So it has provided with uh, multiple options. I'm not leaving the app. It's just linking me to where I can get the information I need. I don't need an app that will give me the scores now. 
I'll just Google it. That's how it keeps me updated on the latest news or the latest updates, maybe in soccer or real life. It's perfect for staying up to date without installing multiple apps. Let's dive into a lesser known tricks. Dark mode. Activate the dark mode for more eye-friendly experience, especially at night. I'll tap the profile icon, head over to the settings, now scroll, customize such widgets, and now I'll select the light theme. So when I select the light theme, it will change. When I select dark, it will change to dark mode. When I select system, since the system is dark mode, and that's what I am using, or the transparency effect. Offline search. You can perform searches even when you're offline. The app will save your query and run searches when you reconnect to the internet. So one of the ways that works for me to save the offline search is me. I'll just go to the home feed and now I'll go to the saved. I'll create one. Maybe I'll, it will be a link or a blank one. So I'll just put a name. I'll just put a name, for instance, 1D. Then I'll save it. The other thing that I'll do, I'll add an item so that I'll be able to search. It may be a link. Uh, maybe I'll add in a link. There is also an option when you can search, when you're offline, you search. Those results will be automatically saved. And when you get back online, Google will be able to automatically search. Quick calculations. You don't need a separate calculator app. Just type in your math problem directly into Google search. Instant results will pop up. QR code scanner. No need of a separate QR code app. You can now scan codes directly using Google Lens. Finally, let's talk about privacy. You can review and manage your search history through the activity controls. Go to the settings under the privacy and security. You'll be able to delete search history, manage permissions, and even turn off ad personalization. So let's head over to the this uh, profile icon. And now we go to, and now we head over to the search settings. Under search settings, there is an option of uh, auto delete. You can set uh, when do you want your history to be deleted automatically. Is it 18 months? Is it 3 months time? Is it 36 months time? So you can select that. And also the auto save. You can disable all so you don't have any history uh, saved on your device. I'm going to give a detailed explanation of search labs. You may be asking yourself, what are Search Labs? Search Lab is an experimental feature from Google that lets users try out new search technologies and features before they are widely released. Here is a brief overview of what it typically includes. Search Labs introduces cutting-edge AI technology into Google search experience. For example, some users can test AI enhanced query results that provide contextual and detailed information directly in search snippet. Let's head over to the search lab, this icon. And now we'll how to start a car. So we have seen the search lab has given us a smart answer. Find the ignition, that's number point number one. Turn on the ignition, press the brake, and start the car. So uh, this, this is the top search result. It has the search lab icon. That shows you that it's an AI generated. It generates uh, information and it summarizes it for you. This feature allows users to interact with Google search more conversationally, similar with how you may interact with AI assistants like Gemini, ChatGPT, you can ask follow-up questions and AI remembers the context of the conversation. In such labs, users may be able to test new ways of navigating through search results or interacting with 
Google features such as uh, through personalized widgets or cards. This feature gives Google real-time feedback from users which helps them improve and refine new tools and AI capabilities. You can access search labs by signing up with Google search but access may be limited to selected users or regions. So that has been it, the Google search mobile app which is packed with features that go beyond just typing your search query, whether it's using Google Lens, setting up real-time updates, or personalizing your feed. This app is more than what we can expect. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to OneV Tech, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, blessings.